This is Satire Station, and I'm your host, Jay Charles. Are you afraid of spiders? If you are, then you'll be happy to know that a certain cheeseburger challenge just ended on the last day of April. A restaurant in North Carolina by the name Bull City Burger and Brewery just celebrated its sixth annual Exotic Meat Month, which featured meals with animals like alligators, iguanas, pythons, turtles, and insects. However, the most famous menu option was the tarantula burger. The burger contained a beef patty, cheese, spicy chili sauce, and you guessed it, an oven roasted tarantula. To be able to eat the burger, individuals needed to win the opportunity through a sort of lottery. They would put $30 and their name on a raffle ticket in hopes of their name being drawn so they could take part in the tarantula challenge. And if they can finish the whole burger, they win the tarantula challenge t-shirt. Anthony, age 17, who's a contestant that has eaten the tarantula burger every year for the past three years, said, quote, Once I actually put aside the fact that it was a spider, once I ate it, it wasn't bad. It was really crunchy, end quote. The owner of the restaurant, whose name is, ironically, Seth Gross, said, quote, It's everybody. We've had kids, adults, I mean, every type of person. There's something thrilling about eating your fear, end quote. Although I have to admit, if I tried the tarantula burger, I would probably start bugging out. Additionally in the news, it's a dog eat dog world <coughs> in the state of Florida, because recently a man sued his neighbor for her dog. It all started when a Florida resident, David Somerville, age 68, had lung cancer surgery, so his neighbor, Tina Walker, age 53, took care of him for two and a half years while he recovered. During this period of time, Tina would bring over her dog to David's house for added companionship, but things took a turn for the worse after Tina went on vacation, at which time David watched her dog. After Tina returned, David asked if he could adopt her dog, to which Tina declined, and had her dog microchipped and kept her dog away from David. So David, being the grateful neighbor that he was after Tina took care of him for two and a half years, sued her for her dog. David argued he had the right to be the owner of the dog because he spent a great deal of time with it, paid for the vet bills, food, and dog toys. Which makes you think, couldn't he have just been grateful and just considered that a thank you for Tina taking care of him for the last two and a half years? So of course the ruling is joint custody of the dog because the judge said, quote, Both parties have spent a great deal of time with the dog. Witnesses say the dog shows great affection to both his humans. End quote. So if you're in the state of Florida walking your dog and a stranger comes up and makes a connection, watch out, because according to this judge, you might have to share your dog with that stranger. If we're going to go off time spent with dogs, though, shouldn't Tina, the actual owner of the dog, win the case? Compared to David, who spent time with one dog, Tina spent time with two. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and check out our other videos. We hope to see you again very soon.